The BMWs of a 15 Whiskey in the United States Army is an unmanned systems aircraft operator, otherwise known as a UAS operator. But before we dive into this brief description of this 15 Whiskey MOS in the United States Army, if you are not already a part of the Chaos Army, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Even think about hitting that bell so you get alerts as soon as new videos go live to include the live streams and become a part of the notification platoon. So let's talk about what some of the job responsibilities of this UAS operator is in the United States Army. So the primary job duties of the 15 Whiskey in the United States Army is going to include operating unmanned aircrafts for reconnaissance and surveillance missions, create flight plans, analyze aerial photos, and much more. Now this MOS is available for active duty as well as National Guard, but according to the Army website, it is not available for the reserves, but I would definitely check with an Army recruiter on that as I do believe I have seen individuals in this MOS in the reserves. But that fluctuates from time to time, so check with an Army recruiter. Now to qualify for this MOS, you're going to have to have a high school diploma or a GED, as well as take the ASVAB and get a qualifying AFQT score to qualify you for the United States Army. Now specifically for this MOS, they're going to be looking at the surveillance and communications section of the ASVAB, where you'll be required to at least score a 102. The training for this MOS will include the normal 10 weeks of basic training, and from there you can expect anywhere from 18 to 25 weeks of AIT at Fort Huachuca, Arizona. I have heard from some people it's more along the lines of 20 weeks, but there are some variables that can happen in there that can extend that or maybe shorten it. Now, an additional thing, after you have passed the AIT for this MOS, you do receive the basic aviation badge that can be worn on both the Army Combat Uniform or the Army Service Uniform. Now, because of the sensitive items that you're dealing with in this MOS, as well as dealing with surveillance and aerial photos and everything, this is going to require a security clearance. So you're gonna to have to at least be able to obtain a secret clearance, and this will be done while you're in basic training or AIT. Now, I personally have not known anybody in this MOS, but from my knowledge of things army-wise, I guess you could say, working on installation, being on installation, everything like that, there is not like constantly unmanned aircrafts flying around all the time. So don't go into this MOS thinking that you're just gonna every day, all day, be flying unmanned aircrafts and always flying you know, these, these UAS or these uh, drones all over base all the time. It's probably a little bit of that because they want to keep you, you know, fluent in being able to use these skills and being able to fly these unmanned aircrafts or these drones, but it's not probably a daily operation. There's probably a little bit of that and then probably also like maintenance on the drones, uh, doing pre-flight inspections on the drones, maybe additional training, doing things with aerial photographs, all that kind of stuff, working with an aviation unit and probably working on the flight line. So don't go into it thinking that just every day is always going to be flying drones every day. It's probably a little bit of that, maybe occasionally here and there. How often? I'm not really too sure, but it's probably also a lot of like working on the drones and getting familiar with the drones and making sure they're operational. Now, as far as jobs outside of the Army for this, if you decide you don't want to make this a career, you want to do four years or whatever and get out, you can probably transition this to working at an airport, working for some government agencies operating drones, maybe even, you know, working that towards getting a commercial license to be able to operate a drone for like aerial photography, for like real estate businesses or video production companies, things like that. Now, if any of my viewers out there are currently 15 whiskeys or maybe past 15 whiskeys in the United States Army, I'd love to hear some stuff down in the comments from you as far as what is your day-to-day -day life like for you know, being in this MOS, what do you do on a daily basis? This will definitely help out individuals out there that are probably interested in this MOS and wanting to know more about what the day-to-day -day life might be like for this 15 whiskey in the Army. And if any of you watching this are interested in this MOS, maybe leave some questions down below as far as what you want to know about this MOS. Maybe some other 15 whiskeys can answer you, or maybe if I know some answers, maybe I can help you out in the comment section down below. As well as if there's other MOSs that I have not yet covered that you're interested in, leave those down in the comments as well. So if you enjoyed this video on the 15 whiskey in the United States Army, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I've also got a playlist coming up on the end screen to other MOS Monday episodes that I've done in the past, so make sure to check those out. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Christopher Chaos, and I will see you next time. See ya.